think the first one is always the one that just gets those things out of your head that have collected in a month's time or a week's time or a day's time or last minute. And I don't know about the whole thing about newness that just cracks me up, but something that's been getting into my consciousness is the fast pace at which we're all moving. I am a programmer by nature, not by heart, but by nature. So I've programmed everything in my life. I do things <laughs> that don't need programs, but I program them anyway. And I burst out, man, don't program that too. That doesn't need to be programmed. <laughs> and out of the quiet consciousness of my back of my mind is my grandpa, my grandfather. He died when I was 14. And it wasn't until I was in my 40s that I realized he was the first doorway I'd ever stepped through. And he's still in this room so much. And it may be just something that, for whatever reason, I'm in too of a hurry to do with my children or not. But I remember sitting at my dining room table <coughs> at my parents' apartment and watching him peel an apple. And I don't ever, I haven't seen anybody peel an apple in 30 years. <laughs> but it wasn't just that he peeled an apple, and it's not that just today I took the time to filter through my cigarette butts as slowly as he did that apple. But he did it with such tenderness and heart that he did it in one pass. He would sit with his knife. And it wasn't for him that he was carving the apple. He wasn't like saying, oh, I want a nice apple and I can't stand the peel, which you have to do. It was for us. So for the space of five minutes, the world was on hold. And all that was in his mind was an apple. And the fact that he didn't want his grandchildren to have the bitterness with the sweetness. If I break out in tears, it won't be the first time it's happened before. So just bear with me, we'll get through it together. So the next time you sit down or turn your ear to a poet or a dream or a bird or a fantasy, No, as Pete Seaver put it so well, you are exactly where you're supposed to be and you are not running late. <laughs> this is what I'm supposed to do, tell you about my grandfather. And what you're supposed to do is sit and just nod comfortably. <laughs> I dedicate this to my brother, my blood brother, because I have many brothers. I have brothers of microphones, I have brothers of walls and dreams and sins. Suns. If you did the math, I've seen more than 10,000 suns rise and set, but none of them is better than the one that rose today, and none of them will be better than the one that sits tonight. Because for the space of three hours, we'll sit, peel apples together, and throw away the rinds. Peace. Yeah.